Now, in this video, let's understand advantages, disadvantages and real life application of reinforcement learning. So, let's start with advantages. So, re reinforcement learning basically, you know, suppose you have a task, uh, it focuses on problem as a whole, okay, R rather than a specific subtask. Because let's say uh, uh, you, uh, uh, in machine learning, what we do, we basically one step is to, you know, do the data collection, right? But in reinforcement learning, it doesn't need to, you know, do a se separate data collection step as it learned from its own experience. Okay. And that is what a big advantage of reinforcement learning. So it work in dynamic, uncertain environment where feedback is delayed or you can say sparse in some cases. Now to understand it, you know, better way. So it can also, you know, help in solving um, high order, you can say complex problem. Also the solution op obtained will be very accurate. And that is what we like about AI, right? And uh, I mean, the reason for its perfection is that uh, it is very similar to human learning technique because obviously, uh, whenever we do learning, we, you know, do trial and error. Obviously, we do mistakes and then finally we learn. Like that, uh, I mean, this reinforcement learning also works with the help of feedback. Okay. So the, m the model, you know, undergoes with rigorous training process that can take time. Also, this will help, you know, to correct any error. Uh, also, like uh, due to its learning ability, uh, it can use, you know, make use of neural network and this can be, you know, uh, termed as deep reinforcement learning since also since the model is conti uh, continuously learning, a mistake made earlier would be likely to occur, you know, in future. And that is what, I mean, the reinforcement learning is based on. After you, you do uh, s some mistake, obviously in future, you will never gonna do the similar mistake that you have done today, right? And that is what, you know, re reinforcement learning advantage tells now let's uh, let's take on you know real life examples so i mean it can be used in real time you know bidding for online advertisement where agent learn to optimize their bids based on user behavior and market condition another example will be you know broadcast journalism where agent can learn to at, you know attract and retain viewer uh, by selecting relevant and en engaging content not the content people don't like Another will be like self-driving car where agent, uh, you know, learn to navigate safely and efficiently by, you know, sensing the road condition and, you know, what all traffic signals uh, it can, you know, uh, see. Okay. Now, now let's understand what all disadvantage it has. Okay. So first dis disadvantage is that uh, reinforcement learning model requires a lot of training data to develop, you know, accurate result. This consumes times and lot of, you know, computational power. So when it comes to building model on real life, uh, real world example, so suppose uh, the example we just you know understood, the maintenance cost will be very high. Okay, like like suppose you are building a driverless vehicle, uh, a robot, uh, we would require a lot of maintenance in terms of both hardware and software, right? So excessive trading also can you know lead to overloading of state and some of the you know model outperform or um, I mean. Sometime outperform, not every time it will do. So like that, we need to take care of that as well. Uh, also, this will result in, you know, model getting bad results. So this may happen if, you know, too much memory space gone out, uh, you know, in processing the training data. So obviously, uh, I mean, this is, you know, fact that obviously too much uh, training sh we shouldn't do because biases are there. Uh, it will lead to, you know, uh, returning, you know, bad uh, now uh, actions so these are the things okay so now let's understand what are applications of reinforcement learning we have so so uh, the first field will be robotics so in robotics the reinforcement learning you know are you know widely used in um, you know controlling uh, robots to perform some tasks such as you know uh, grasping object navigating manipulation everything like that you may also have seen Boston Dy Dynamics is a company where, you know, they are training different type of robot for different, you know, purposes. Okay. So you can Google it and search it. Now, another example will be like autonomous car, uh, drone navigation, industrial automation. So these are all, you know, example of robotics where we can use reinforcement learning. Now, another will be like gaming. Okay. Uh, so in gaming, reinforcement learning, you know, have seen successful applied, you know, uh, have seen so much success. Uh, when it has been applied to chess, uh, chess game, go game, and then poker game, so it has been used to develop game playing agent that can play video game at a superhuman level. It can also beat human that level. Okay. Now another will be healthcare. Uh, so in healthcare, reinforcement learning, you know, has been used 
uh, for drug discovery, personalized, personalized treatment, and you know, cl clinical decision making. For example, nowadays reinforcement learning has been used to you know optimize cancer treatment and to you know develop personalized insulin doses for diabetic patients. So you can see, right? I mean, AI is everywhere. Uh, we are just one step away from you know applying it. Next will be you know finance science. So I mean, these type of you know. Uh, so suppose reinforcement learning we are applying on finance so where you will apply obviously in some por portfolio management algorithmic trading or you can say risk management for every trade you are doing so for example it has been used to develop trading algorithm that can you know predict stock price and optimize investment portfolio on a long uh, run okay so that is how you will be applying re reinforcement learning in finance domain now another will be recommendation system so nowadays you can see in every website uh, suppose Amazon, Flipkart. Uh, so after exploring, you know, some of the product you will see in bottom or somewhere in the website, there is some recommendation that uh, Amazon and Flipkart is giving, and that type of you know uh, recommendation is coming from reinforcement learning. So it understanding what type of product you are liking and you know why you came to this website. Obviously, you will search something, you will click something, and it will record all those data. And obviously, based on this uh, data that you have you know give to Amazon or you know Flipkart, obviously it will help you. Uh, recommend the right product to the right customer and that is what uh, uh, the use of you know re reinforcement learning in e-commerce websites are second is you know uh, another last will be uh, you know resource management suppose so re uh, so in re uh, uh, using reinforcement learning uh, I mean, has been used for resource management in energy system, transportation system, communication network. For example, uh, you have seen right. Uh, reinforcement learning has been used to optimize traffic control system, energy consumption in building, wireless co uh, you know communication network. How to improve it? Uh, everywhere it is you know uh, getting used to uh, suppliers. Uh, all the you know easy way to uh, do such things, and uh, and these all are example of resource management in. A business domain okay so hope you guys like it next in next video we will implement i uh, will see the uh, different way of implementation rl